Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a new promotion that is coming out in the next couple of days in FIFA Ultimate Team. It's coming out on Wednesday, and I want to sit down with you guys today and talk about this promotion, what could be happening, how we can prepare for it, and what it could do to the market. Now, there's going to be a lot of information in this video. It's probably going to, I'm probably going to have some subsequent videos coming up after this because there's just a ton of information about this promo because there's a ton going on in this promo and um, there's a lot of market movements as well. So today we're gonna take the kind of the 10,000 foot level approach. We're just gonna skim over some things and just basically outline what this promo is. So this is the loading screen that came up today. I just checked it is not on FIFA right at this moment when I'm recording. So there is a loading screen though. Footies FIFA 19. This is the, they've always used like a pink color, pink this is kind of the usual color with footies, which is no different this year. So that is what will, the promo colors will be if you're interested in that. The card design will probably have some sort of pink and yellow in it, I'm guessing, from the way that this looks. Um, but let's get looking at last year's footies and talk about stuff that happens every year with footies. So the biggest thing about footies is um, the SBCs and the re-release of special cards back into packs. So I wanna talk about those two things first and we'll look at some of the other details. Basically, you know, what is an EA promo without packs, right? So they're gonna put special cards back into packs. You see it here, best of packs. This was a major hit last year at the end of the year. They put a lot of the special cards back into packs. And as you can see, the promotion last year ran from July 18th to August 15th. So footies lasts a good while. You know, it's a three, four week promotion depending on how much they want to stretch it out um, this year. It's a decently long promotion because of those player SBCs that we'll also talk about in a second. But the highlight is probably the best of packs. So you have some of the best, you'll basically have the re-release of special cards in packs during that time frame. So like last year, the first week of footies, we had Scream, Wants to Watch Summer, Path to Glory, and European team of the tournament. The second week we had Foot Birthday, Tots, Wants to Watch Winter, Path to Glory Spring. And then it got good. After that, they put in the best of campaign, which was the best version of every player in the game. Now, I wanna talk about this a little bit because we're gonna to have to kinda of see how they do the best of packs this year. If they do up front heavy, like if they do this the whole time, I don't know how that'll work, but I think they're going to do it structured kind of like this last year. They'll put a couple of the teams in for the first two weeks or so, and then after that, they might throw in the best of each player. And that's the most hype um, part of footies, because basically, you search anybody in the game. Let's say you want to search uh, Paul Pogba. So there's so many special cards that are out in the game, and that's one area why I'm kind of curious to see how they do it this year, because so many more special cards are in the game this year. You've had so many more promos this year that there are just a lot more special cards. If they do best of again, it's gonna be so, e you're gonna have a different type of flair almost every pack, because so, and gold cards are gonna be like extinct, because there's gonna be so many special cards in packs. That's why they had to kind of break up the weeks as you see here, because they have SBCs out at the same time. And if they take all of these, if they do best of during that week, gold cards are going to get very expensive because if you think about it, so many of these gold cards have special items, but best of that mean you, that means you would see this Pogba back into packs. I mean, you can think of any random player in the game, Pulisic. He, he's actually in packs with a man of the match item right now. That is a center mid version. So we'll look at that one. I think it is his best version of a card, if I'm correct. It is not 82 rated. Interesting. That is not his best version. He has a UCL live card that is 84, I believe, right? Yeah. Oh, he has the Carnival that is 88. So even this Pulisic card, this Carnival version would be back in packs um, for that promo when they do best of. So you would have special cards all over the place. So And then they released um, upgrade packs at the same time. So you could just smash upgrade packs and you would just get random special cards um, during that time, which was freaking sick. There's a ton of great pack openings that happened during that time, but there is a lot of special cards that get re-released back into packs. So that's one thing that I want to note about is that you're going to see a lot of price drops around some of those cards, especially team of the season, foot birthday, any of those past 
special cards. This is kind of the promo at the end of the year where card prices really take a nosedive into the end of the year. Now this is another big part of footies, the themed cards. And this is on a voting basis. So last year, this was one of the first SBCs that came out. And there was, you basically voted on position. So your favorite CM or CDM. You had three, two or three days, I think, to, you did an SBC. There were three separate SBCs for each of these players. You did an SBC and that was your vote. So you voted for one of these players and whoever won, we can actually look this up right now. We'll go to FIFA 18 um, players and we'll sort by footies, footies winners. Maybe not. Festival of football, where are these footies cards at? They gotta be in here somewhere, right? Am I just missing this? Footies, 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 gold, team of the year, foot miss. I can't find them, but there are footies cards in here. Where the heck are these footies cards? Like Lozano. Let's go leagues, air division. He's in here somewhere, man. I know he is. Footies. Here's a footies card for you. So like last year, Lozano was in... Lozano, 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 where was he at? There he is. So he was in this voting. Favorite position change. So this was his card that you did the SBC and you voted on. This was the card that he got for winning footies. So they basically just boosted his card to the best overall rating that he possibly got. And people freaking loved this card last year in FIFA. It was ridiculous how good this card was. But that's what's going to happen again this year. So they'll do it by position if they follow last year. So last year at center back, you had Varane, Baye, and Manolas. Some of those popular center backs last year in foot. They get a special card. Um, and they get a sick boosted card at the end of the game, which is pretty dope. And it's cool that we get to vote on that. Um... But and those are also some cards that get into people's end games. So also along with footies is the re-release of special SBCs. You can see here, Footmas Van Dyke was re-released. Often these SBCs are released at a lower price than what they were when they originally came out. You had a Footmas Van Dyke, um, just a regular SBC for a pack, Foot 09, the Zaha Player of the Month card, Aguero Player of the Month card, is Latan Ibrahimovic foot miss, and then also you have the you have some 81 plus double guarantees, 82 plus guarantee. Who let the dogs out? That was from a um, Ultimate Scream SBC, I believe, or it was um, either that or in Chinese Lunar New Year because that it w might have been the year of the dog last year. I forget. Under Herrera foot miss. You see, like all these SBCs are just re-released, different types and versions from other promos. And they also put out um, end of an era cards last year. They had De Rossi, we had Carrick, we had Buffon and Iniesta. And the prior years before that, we had Philip Lahm. Um, that's the really big one. We had Xavi Alonso. I think we actually had Gerard as well. At, at, a, could, at, a, at a point, I could be I could be wrong with that. I could be very wrong with that. But we had a lot of cool flashback SBCs um, or uh, end of an era SBCs. We've seen some of them this year but there's always kind of a, uh, a boost of them at the end of the year. So that's kind of what we have to look for during footies. Um, there also were reward packs. So based on how many days you have played, um, I forget what the time frame was, but it's, it's again, it's like how many days that you have played the game of FIFA in a certain amount of time and you get a pack based on, based on that session. FIFA 17 footies was special cards and SBCs. It was a lot less hype than last year with footies. Um, obviously, what made last year very hype with footies was the uh, Festival of Football cards. Those aren't in the game this year. Um, so that's kind of a, a week less of packs, you know, to be honest here. But there's still going to be a lot of hype because they're re-releasing Team of the Season cards. And actually, in FIFA 17, uh, they released the Team of the Year cards. Now, I don't actually remember that myself, but they released the Team of the Year cards in FIFA 17. And uh, that's another possibility for this year as well. So if you're somebody who has been wanting one of these cards, like I really want Cristiano Ronaldo for my team. And there's probably some cards in my team that I'm going to lose coins on. Um, my current team is right, this team right here. I'm probably going to lose some coins on this team because I bought Neymar this week for 4.7, 4.729. Nine. He's selling it like 5.2 right now. I bought Mbappe for um, 3.4, he's selling for like 3.7 right now. 
So a lot of these card prices are probably going to drop because footies is going to bring out a bunch of sick cards and stuff like that. But again, it's the end of the game. If you're somebody who is scared to lose a lot of coins, if you really want to sell your team and you're, you want to have your coins liquid for this promo, you can go ahead and do that because I think the prices are going to drop. This is the end of the year where people really just say F it. You thought team this season was a, was a time where people went broke on packs. This footies promotion is another last ditch effort where more people just say F it and they close out the year of FIFA. Um, with their teams and stuff and complete SBCs that they put out and do upgrade packs. So there will definitely be a point where I probably sell a couple players and that's why I'm waiting to buy Cristiano Ronaldo because I don't want to buy that card and be broke. But if you really want to get ready for this promo, try to sell your players. Actually, I would sell them today on Saturday because this promo is going to be starting on Wednesday. Depending on what they do, if they start the promo with a bang, um, you might be hit you know, st stuck with some losses. Now, I don't know how much I'm really going to sell of my team. This year, the market really loves to panic sell, but imagine a lot of these cards coming back into packs. People are going to go crazy for them. So that's one thing that I want to uh, make known to you guys as well. I do see probably a decent amount of prices going down from this, like icons, you know, team of the years, team of the seasons, especially they put team of the years back into packs. We're really not going to know what effects this has on the market fully until we see what they're going to do with footies. I'm probably not going to sell anybody in my team. I just probably won't buy that Ronaldo card just yet that I want. I will probably keep Neymar and Mbappe, even though it will pay me to lose, you know, a lot of coins in those cards <laughs> uh, by the end of the year, but it's okay. It's the end of the year. I'm building a team. I have a team that I want. So that's kind of cool. You have to think of it about that way as well. This is the time of the year not to be worried about losing coins. It's about having fun with those coins that you've made all year. And there's going to be plenty of opportunities to make coins as well from these SBCs. One thing that I wanted to point out as a part of FIFA 19, and maybe one way where we can kind of start to look to invest in this stuff is, um, I'm not a guy who likes to go on a sign on 83s or 84s or other high rated golds, but there's going to be a lot of SBCs during this promo. And if they have best of packs or best of stuff in packs or even other special cards in packs, and there's a lot of SBCs going on, flashback SBCs um, and best of SBCs, you're gonna see a lot of these SBC cards, especially the ones that are out of packs, go crazy high because people need cards for chem and to do SBCs. So if you're a guy that likes to go on a sign on 83s, pick an 83 that has a special card and you could probably go on a sign on it for really cheap. Look at its card price, you could probably go on a sign on that and make a good amount of coins on that because there's going to be some SBCs that do come out during footies. One thing I do want to talk about, the price of some of these informs is outrageous. 80 rated informs you have to pay 25k for. 82 rated informs, 30k. This is a nice undercut right there. 83 rated informs, 40k. Informs are disgracefully high right now. I think EA is going to do something about that. I think EA is going to do something about that. I think they're going to do a repeatable team of the week guaranteed SBC that's going to lower a lot of the prices, especially if they make it cheap on some of these cards. And that's another reason why I do think if you're somebody who likes to invest in gold cards, I mean, this might be a time to do it. Start stocking up on your 83s. For the rest of us, just do a club stock. Honestly, just do a club stock, go on to the transfer market, look through the cheapest list of 83s. All right, so Balotelli is one of the cheapest 83s. That's a good position, good nationality. How much is how much is Mario Balotelli? Is he 1,000 coins right now? Wow, that's a good deal. 1,000 coins for a Balotelli 83 rated card. Send him to the club. There you go. I'm ready to do some SBCs during footies. Stuff like that. That's how you can prepare for footies. I would not advise buying informs. I would... One thing that I would advise doing is going through foot bin and looking at some of these other special cards, Scream Team, Ones to Watch, um, Heroes, the UCL cards, the UCL Live cards. During this promo is where we usually see a lot of weird requirements for SBCs. They're going to bring out all the different card types. They're going to require Man of the Matches. They're going to require, you know, maybe some UCL Rares, maybe a Scream Team player, a Man of the Match. I already said that. Um, they're going to pull out all the stops during this promo on what to require for SBC. So be looking at for some of these cards that could be discard, maybe even like a really cheap, there's not really, really cheap foot birthday or carnival options, uh, but a man of the match option, 
um, or especially like a Champions League man of the match option. What if we sort by like the cheapest man of the match? What do we see here? We have some, you know, you want to look at some higher rated ones. Jefferson Farfan, he's a center attacking mid, 84 rated. Man of the match card actually has some in-game value and he's 16K. That could be a decent shout for an investment, you know. Pick a higher rated man of the match card, even just Joaquin Correa, you're paying 2K more, 18K per card. He's a striker, he gets better links for SBCs. This could be a decent investment opportunity in the coming days. Watch some of these prices. I know it's not discard, but it's close. His discard you see there is 15K, so he's close to discard. Just maybe stock some cl your, your club with a few of items like that for these SBCs that they bring out. They're gonna require some weird stuff. So again, this promo is all about the re-release of special cards back into packs, the themed footies cards that we will vote on, and um, of course the best of SBC. So this is kind of a promo where we just have fun and we send packs and we, you know, there's definitely gonna be opportunities to trade during this promo. And a lot of that is gonna be based around SBCs. Uh, I'm gonna be honest because SBCs are a huge part of this promo. And uh, you're going to have cards re-released back into packs, and that's going to change the dynamic of the market. Like, if you see this Cristiano Ronaldo once to watch card gets released back into packs, like that first day, the first day of footies they release, summer once to watch is back into packs. That's probably going to lower the price of his team of the year and his team of the season because when you have a card that's underneath those, takes such of a price hit. Like this card right now is at like three eight, three nine. You see this card down at 3 million coins flat, people are gonna say, wow, I don't have to pay 7 mil for one of these to get this card for 3 mil. You're gonna see the cards underneath them drop a little bit and probably those higher ones uh, drop as well. So there's gonna be some falling prices. Don't be scared. There's gonna be rebounds as well. Thursday flipping is still gonna work great during this promo, depending on what cards come back out into packs. And it's also interesting that this promo starts on a Wednesday. I find that pretty interesting myself. They're starting it on a Wednesday in the middle of the week. So if they're going to put cards back into packs this week, think about this. This weekend league that you're playing for right now, not only are you playing for these new rewards with the TOTS cards that aren't showing up right now at the moment, but you're also playing for whatever comes into packs on Wednesday with the start of this promotion. So that's something to think about as well. If they do release best of packs from the start, your weekend league this weekend could be pretty important to the rewards that you get next week might motivate you a little bit more to play some weekly league uh, this weekend. So that's a lot about footies. It's kind of a 10,000 foot range. We talked about some investing. We talked about what the promo is all about. And um, of course, footies is going to be, it's going to be pretty fun. It's a last send of the year with some cards back in packs. Hopefully EA structures it similar as to how they have done it in the past two years. That would be awesome um, if we had the best of stuff going on. Uh, with all of that. So if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.